I have a Rock Creek hair jig. We're going to tip it with just a piece of a night roller. Kind of give it some scent that it get going. All right, guys, today we are doing some pond fishing with a bobber and a jig. During the winter time, <clears throat> this would be one of the most effective ways to target fish. Try to find where they're at, if they're being active. So I have a Rock Creek hair jig about 14 inches down from this bobber. And I've tipped it with a very small piece of a worm to kind of give it some scent, some flavor. You don't have to do this. I like to do this. I'm just gonna twitch it, bring it back towards me. I'm just gonna work this area over here, see if there's any active fish along this bank. See if anything wants to come out and play. Stay tuned, let's see what we catch. I see them popping on the water. That's why I'm at a, I only went down 14 inches. Trying to target the ones that are active first. Got him that time. Okay, there we go. Now we got him. There we go, y'all. That's a nicer fish. And that, y'all, is how it's done. That's what we came here for. I'm going to fill up the cooler with those bad boys right there. We're going to have ourselves a nice little fish fry. Take a look at that, guys. That is a beautiful, beautiful bluegill. Look at the size of that. That one will be going in the cooler. And we're gonna try to get some more. Eight and a half incher. Take that all day long. That's what we're doing, y'all. Trying to fill the cooler up with some nice bluegill. It is the end of February. We had a massive rainstorm blow through for a day and a half. As you can see, not ideal conditions, but guess what? Anytime you're fishing, it's ideal. So you just gotta get out and have fun and fish. You never know what you're gonna catch. I have some of my best fishing experiences right after it's rained, right after storms. Just gotta come out and and fish y'all, get out and fish. You can always become a better angler. These are the moments when you do become better. Got him. That's a smaller one, maybe. Yeah, feels like a smaller one. I got to drag all the way up and it ain't even pulling on it. Yeah, that's a smaller one. I'm all like, yeah, there's no drag on that at all. That's a little one, guys. Go get bigger. Got you that time. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nope. Stay out. Stay out of it. And you, my friend, will be going in the back. All right, there we go, guys. We downsized. We downsized the jig to a smaller hook. We went at the smaller hook and just a flat worm out. So our flat out worm, that's what we decided to go with. Okay. Now let's start putting them in the, in the cooler. Got him. Got them that time. And that, my friends, are what we're after. That's what we're after. Actively feeding bluegill. There we go, y'all. There we go, guys. Beautiful, look at that. Big as my hand. There we go, guys. So what are we doing? ACC crappie stick, six foot six pole. Paired with the Fluger President Reel, four pound high vis mono from Vicious. 
we have a 132nd ounce Arky size 4 hook. We're going up about two feet to a bobber. We are doing some uh, worm and bobber fishing and we have fish out here popping on the water. I don't know if you guys can see that from that far away. And I'm actively stalking these fish. So I see them pop, kind of cast out where they're at. And I'm just gonna be patient. Hopefully they see that worm fall down in front of them. And uh, wait for that hit. And we're only giving it a few seconds. There it is. Got him. Now guys, that is how you come out and you come after active fish. These are gonna be some nice sized bluegill and bass, just from what I saw how they were feeding. And that is how you do it. Get out, get fishing, have fun. Let's get a close up look at that. That didn't even take a minute guys. Did not even take a minute. Guys and girls, I should say everyone. All right, there we go. Beautiful fish. That one's going in the bucket. Go. Got him. All right, there's another one. Another nice bluegill going in for the fish fry. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, 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 yes. That's how you do it, y'all. Right there. See that? Look at that. We'll get it cleaned up. You'll be able to see more of them when they're in the bucket in the cooler. Oh, we're already getting another. Hold on. You stay there, buddy. Huh? Gotcha. <laughs> little one. A ah, little baby. That we will not be keeping, guys. That we will not be keeping. Fish. That's a nice fish. <laughs> there we go, guys. We're just going to do this all day long. All day long. Another slab winter bluegill. Get you in the bucket. Get this back out there. Got him. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Yep, that's a nice one. Come here. Come join your friend in the bucket. Look at that, y'all. Another one. We're gonna keep catching, because that's what we do, baby. That's what we do. Got him. There we go. Come on. You ain't going nowhere. You're hooked. Do, 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 do. <laughs> look at that, guys. Just keep coming. Just keep catching them. And that one, look how thick that is. Beautiful. All right. Let's do it again, shall we? There we go. Got you that time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep. There we go. There we go. 
Yep. Oh yeah, I knew that was a bass. Knew it. <laughs> there we go, y'all check that out. <sighs> yep. That is a nice size little bass right there. Very cool. There we go. There we go. Uh-huh. Yep. There we go, guys. There's another one. Another one going in the cooler. Woo -hoo -hoo. Fell off right into my hand. Gotcha. Oh, a little bass, that's why. <laughs> <sighs> little bass guys little bass got him voila there we go perfect timing Another nice little bluegill. Got him. Another nice bluegill. There we go, guys. Hold on. Voila. Keep catching them. That's what we're going to do. Let's get that out of your mouth. Beautiful. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That, my friend, is either a big bluegill or a nice bass. That's a nice bluegill. That is what I came out here for. Now, look at that. Y'all, that's what I came out here for. I knew they were out here. And, of course... You absolutely inhaled the entire hook. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Look at that. Look at that. Had a film there be on the other bank. Cast it over there. Look at the size of that bluegill. crazy part is they are nice and pale here wait until you see when I get them in actual clear water they look like that was awesome that wasn't even I mean that's just a matter of seconds I know you could be mad be mad all you want look at the size of this one y'all I'm pretty sure at least I'm hoping that one's gonna make the Tennessee angler recognition program I believe that's 10 inches. We are going to measure, but look at the thickness of that. That's one of the things I'm going to start trying to do this year, guys, for 2023, is Tennessee has what they call the TARP program. It's the Tennessee Anglers Recognition Program, where you can take a fish, and it has to meet a, exceed a, a certain size. And uh, once you catch it, you take a picture, and you send it in, and they'll actually send you a artistic rendering of a bluegill, not your bluegill, um, and a certificate. And once you get so many of those, you move up to a different class each time of uh, recognition. So very cool. Something I've been looking at for a while and something I'm gonna actually go after this year and, and see how we could do. I think it'd be a fun little, fun little challenge to go through. So see what happens. There's nothing better been fishing from the bank. Getting out here, trying to figure out where these fish have moved into. They're getting ready to start feeding heavily. A lot of them are about to go into a spawning mode, whether it's the bass or the bluegill or the crappie, uh, yellow perch. Uh, you got your white bass that are running. It's just the transition between the fish and their activity, just, just a huge, huge difference. So get out there, spend the time, go fishing. 
Don't say I don't have a boat, I can't go fishing. You don't need a boat. Having a boat's fun. It, believe me, it, it, it is. I like to be on a boat when I'm fishing. However, you can get out, get on the bank, and there are a lot of great areas, a lot of great bodies of water around you, whether they're streams, creeks, lakes, rivers, ponds. Get out and go fishing. Get out and have fun. That's really what it's all about. Come on, take it. Got him. There it is. All right, another one for the bucket, y'all. Another one for the bucket and the cooler. Uh, be eating good, eating good. Got him. That quick and easy, guys. Not a big one. Not a big one by any means. But when you see the activity, follow the activity. Doesn't get any simpler advice than that. When there's activity, follow the activity. 